as would be the case with my first and all future channel messages capitalization was rare used only for emphasis commas were sparse and abbreviations were frequent such as the letter u for y-o-u and through t-h-r-u for through t-h-r-o-u-g-h typos were also common due to the rapid speed of the transmission of the information my fingers were tripping over the keyboard in my own personal files all these messages have been left untouched for the purposes of publishing this book and at the risk of taking away ever so slightly from the original charm of the messages i chose to edit the blatant typos and odd abbreviations the rest has been left as is with the exception of a few areas in which i felt it necessary to omit small sections for personal privacy reasons for those interested you will find my personal commentaries in the back of the book under the corresponding footnote numbers a few people suggested to me that the footnotes would be more conveniently placed at the end of each channeled message yet every time i tempted this arrangement my inner voice said no the feeling behind the no was that these messages carry a powerful energy best left uncluttered i also believe not every reader will be interested in my commentary preferring their own interpretations for all these reasons my final decision was to place all footnotes in the back if you tend toward skepticism and doubt when it comes to the spiritual and metaphysical realm i understand it may help to know that from day one both in my previous psychic and mediumship readings as well as my channeling i've had a tendency to be my own worst skeptic while i honor and appreciate the value of skepticism i believe it is most useful when combined with an openness to new discoveries those who insist they already know everything miss multiple opportunities for growth in exchange for their closed-mindedness i say question everything for yourself knowing you are always free to accept or reject your findings an infinite number of times as you go along that being said several factors helped pacify the majority of my own skepticism first the messages are foreign to my own writing style second the content contained within them is beyond my own conscious knowledge and wisdom in other words i cannot sit down and think this stuff up on the contrary i have to get out of my mind literally in order to receive them finally since so many other seemingly ordinary people have had similar experiences i decided maybe it wasn't too far-fetched to believe it possible for myself the same goes for you if you are interested many books are available today for anyone interested in developing their own innate gifts along these lines my guides knowing my own skepticism have orchestrated everything so that i would receive unexpected validations along the way typically i would not be aware of or come into contact with certain books or teachings until after i had channeled similar messages only then would i spontaneously be drawn to or given a particular book or teaching as an always surprising and delightful outside source of validation to say this has been an exciting adventure would be a gross understatement a few readers will insist on knowing the answer to the question what is the source of the information well although some specific names of sources did eventually come through others simply referred to themselves as we i later learned that receiving messages from a we is quite common among those who channel and or do automatic writing when this was all new to me i was pretty frantic about finding out who i was channeling but then a wise soul suggested i let go of this need to know lest further messages be blocked so that is what i did we are all one with our divine creator by whatever name you choose to call it god goddess source 
light, infinite intelligence, universal mind, all that is, the great I am, etc. We are also one with our own higher selves, including our non-physical guides and teachers. I eventually came to the conclusion that as long as the messages appeared to carry the energies of wisdom and love, well, that was good enough for me. I make no claims as to my abilities as a psychic or a channel, nor can I absolutely verify the sources, authenticity, or accuracy of the material received. Rather than try to convince anyone of anything, I believe it's best to allow each person to read the messages themselves and go with their own gut feelings on the matter. Additionally, as of this time, I do not channel on demand, nor do I channel verbally through speaking. Some days, the described feeling comes over me, indicating I am open to receiving a message. Typically, I simply go to my keyboard, surrender, and allow the information to come through. Other days, I do not have that particular feeling, but would like to receive guidance on some matter. On these occasions, it comes about half the time, and the other half of the time I will receive nothing whatsoever. It is common for days, weeks, and months to go by between communications. The saying, if I can do it, anybody can, applies here. The only thing standing between you and your ability to communicate with our Creator and your own non-physical guides and teachers, by whatever name you call them, would be a belief system that says it's somehow wrong or isn't possible for you. It is possible. In fact, I believe the ability to access information beyond the five senses will soon become mainstream. And finally, although several of these messages came in response to my requests for guidance in my own personal life, there is a reason they are now being brought into the public realm. The messages contained within this book are filled with parallels and global truths that will speak to everyone who is participating in the collective awakening. Allow these messages to shine the light of love, truth, and awareness along your own path of spiritual awakening. Use them to awaken your own innate ability to communicate with your guides. Try not to intellectualize, analyze, or think too hard when reading them. They contain an ethereal quality beyond mere words that is meant to be felt or sensed. And as with all things in this journey called life, Take only what is useful and leave the rest. Namaste.